Hey guys, it's me Courtney and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be doing three different looks using the e.l.f. and Tiana Major 9 collab. This is the Feeling Lucky palette. It's a part of like the entire Electric Mood collection that they did with Tiana Major 9. Now keep in mind this is an e.l.f. palette, so it's not like the highest of quality of shadows, but you do get a pretty decent bang for your buck, I think. Some of the shades that I use aren't going to be like super duper vibrant or as vibrant as you would want them to be. However, I do feel like for the price, it is pretty decent. But yeah, that being said, we're gonna go ahead and get into the video all right guys so for the first look we are gonna go into summer fruit and we're going to apply that on the outer edge of the eye corner going into sort of that crease then I'm gonna take the shade central line and apply that to the entire crease of course we're going slightly above and into the crease per usual and we're gonna sort of run over that first purple shade that we put down, blending out the edge of that. Next, I'm gonna take the shade Yellow Tie, and that's gonna go slightly higher than the orange shade that we put down. I want like a hint of yellow, not so much overpowering, but just to blend out the edge of that orange and purple. Next, I'm gonna go into the shade Crimson Shim, and that's gonna go in the entire lid. Now, this is one of the colors that doesn't have really a lot of pigment. It gives like a little bit of shade, not a lot of shimmer, not a lot of glitter or anything like that, but it's a good base for what we're trying to do. After that, I'm gonna take Pound Coin, which is one of my favorite colors in this palette, and we're gonna add that to the center of the lid. Blending where needed so we can make it sort of like a seamless transition from one shade to the next Next we're gonna take our yellow liquid liner from melt. This is cultura I believe and I'm gonna create a wing just a slight wing on the outer edge of the eye After the face I'm gonna take this black Stila liquid liner and I'm just gonna put enough liquid liner on my lash line. You're not really gonna be able to see this, but it, for me, just helps the lashes look a little bit more blended, if that makes sense. Next, we're gonna take this Maybelline Unstoppable Eyeliner in Sapphire and we're going to put that on the lower lash line. I'm also gonna sort of make it a little bit messy. It's gonna go on that water line, but it's also gonna be on the actual lower lash line. We're gonna smudge it out a little bit later. And I'm also gonna make sure I bring it underneath the yellow wing that we already created. Basically doing like a reverse cat eye type of situation. I'm gonna take a small smudger brush so that I can blend out the edge of that shade. Next, I'm gonna take Turquoise Shift from the palette, and not just placing, but sort of blending as we go with this shade, all the way out to the end of the wing. Then we're gonna take God's Grills. That's gonna go on the inner corner. I sort of got carried away with it later and kind of made it like go on the entire inner corner bridge type of situation, but really you could just stop at the inner corner. <laughs> Add lashes and mascara, and that is the first look. Look, I'm using central line and blending that out in the crease at an angle following the curve of the lid then we're taking turquoise shift and placing it on the lid next we're taking heart of man and adding it to the outer corner crease and we're gonna wing that out going back into any shade when needed to resaturate and blend the colors Next, I'm taking a little pink shift and blending it between the turquoise shade and the deep brown shade. Going into the shade Shy, I'm gonna pat that on the inner lid space, blending it into that turquoise shade right next to it. This and the next shades are super chunky and crumbly, so be mindful of severe fallout from these shades, especially. The next crumbly shade I was mentioning is Winter, and that's gonna go on top of that pink shade to create a little bit more opaqueness to the shimmers. I'm gonna use a wipe to pick up all the fallout, but also to sharpen the outer edge. 
Then using my liner from ABH to create my wing. After the face, I'm going back into central line and running that on the entire lower lash line. And then tapping a little into Heart of Men and blending it just on the outer lower lash line, moving it up into the wing to connect it. Taking my highlighter from Benefit, I'm going to use that for my inner corners. Using my Intenso Liner and Comica from Tres Luce, I'm going to line my waterline. Add lashes and mascara, and that's look two. For the final look, I'm taking Heart of Man and adding it to the outer eye corners at a sharp angle. Blending it into the outer crease as well as that outer lid space. Then I'm taking Latte to softly blend the edges of that shade. Next we're using Braided to blend further into the crease following the curve of the eye shape. After that I'm taking Central Line once again and placing it on the lid. Taking care to add pigment when needed and blend as we go. I'm going to use a wipe to clean that up and sharpen that wing shape. Then I'm using my Point Made Liner from one size to draw in a matching wing. After the face, I'm dipping back into Heart of Man to run that along my lower lash line. And using Central Line to blend that out moving all the way up the underside of the wing, if that makes sense. Next, I'm using my Makeup Forever Pencil in whatever black to line the waterline. We're gonna tap into Pound Coin for the inner corners. Add mascara and lashes, and that's the third look. Everything that is on my face and all of the looks are going to be in the description box below if you're curious. So that about does it for me guys. Hopefully this video was helpful, fun to watch, entertaining, all that great stuff. If so, please give me a thumbs up. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe <laughs> if the mood suits you and I will see you guys in the next one.